I didn't have my um, I didn't have my driving test. I had my theoretical exam for my driver's license, which I passed. But the driving test is in three weeks, I think. And I had my first lessons this week for it. <clears throat> the first lesson was on Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, I think. Because Monday I passed my theoretical exam, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. As in today, I had driver's lessons for actually driving the car. And then I'm pretty sure I have next week as well. And the week after next week. And then there's my exam, my actual driving exam. Hopefully someone's someone's banning like Sin or Akali or something because last lobby was not great. <clears throat> but I guess I might have the Sin Akali this time. But yeah, we're good. Theor theoretical exam was passed this Monday, so just the driving now. As you can see, I have some tape as well. Last week when I was playing too much, I think. I um, started having some, I don't know, some discomfort, slow, what they call it, mind to muscle connection. I know I played too much, but I think this helps <clears throat> a little bit in case I were to play too much again. Because I haven't had issues when I haven't been playing too much. I've just had issues when I played too much. So I'm gonna try to not do that, but if I were to do that by mistake, this will help a little bit, for sure. I don't know if some of you guys are watching back in 2017, but it's basically the same as back then. Same problems, gamer issues, I guess. I wonder if I should stop showing my lobbies. Because if I think about this lobby, right? How does Vayne know she's playing against Sejuani top? Who picks Vayne? Blind top lane. Unless he knows. What he's playing against. I think I should be hiding my lobbies actually. Cause there's no, there's just no way this guy, no bans, picks Vayne top without knowing it's Sejuani top. Like it makes sense because it's Sejuani top. But otherwise it doesn't make any sense. So I'm thinking that maybe he just saw my lobby. Could be seeing my lobby. Maybe I should be hiding. Doesn't make any sense otherwise. So let's try to keep that in mind for next. Next one. I passed my uh, theoretical exam. My driving theory, I passed it. Maybe I shouldn't have started drone split in this matchup actually. How many they are, but if there are like two people here, let's just kill them, no? What do you think? No? Okay. I guess we're kind of useless, yeah. It's okay if you freeze, it's okay, it's okay. Do your best. I mean, actually. I have Halo Blade, so it's always free kill, actually. I could just throw him in, to be honest. But I'm not sure if we just win like that. 
Depends on Esther ult, I guess, if they hit Esther ult or not. Flash here as well. I guess we go next wave for sure here. Took again. So all of those. Like we don't have to do something here. Probably a bad idea anyways, to be honest. This seems like to me the only place where they could potentially win a fight. Why did I think that would work, actually? Clicking E while he has ult on. I'm not sure why I thought that would work. Oh, this is really awkward. I do have shield though. Fuck, if I hit that Q. That was actually out. Uh, this is like the one place where we can lose a fight. I'm not sure where we're taking it. to help too. This is so troll now. Only thing they can do is take this side. Lost top at least, I don't know if he is anymore. As long as I get tier 1, okay, he's top. So it's good herald for sure.
Maybe not this way. It's probably worth it. My job there was done, no? I killed the Hecker, uh, Hecker, <laughs> Heimerdinger tower. I feel like that was more important than killing any enemies. Victory. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure killing the tower there is more value than killing the actual Heimerdinger. <laughs> 